In this video, we will show how to set up RStudio in our tools. We are already done with the installation step from the previous episode of this R installation series. The next thing we are going to do now is to set up RStudio and help R recognize our tools. We will start with helping R recognize our tools. To do this, first search for the bin folder of R tools. If you recall, during the installation, that R tools is in RC drive. Now, navigate to the subdirectory user, then to bin. Copy the bin path directory. Now, on your Windows search bar, type Advanced System Settings. Click Environment Variables. On the System Variables pane, click the Path Variable and hit Edit. On the upper right corner, click New. Within the new empty row that appears, paste the RTools bin folder path we have just copied. Click OK, OK, and OK. To check whether R has indeed recognized R tools, open the R Studio app. Go to the Windows Search button and type RS. Click the R Studio app icon. Since this is our first time opening R Studio, we will be met with this pop up window. Just click the Yes button. Now, on the left side, you can see a pane called the console. If you click this pane, you will notice a blinking cursor prompting you to type something. Now type syst that which. Within it, type in quotations the word make and hit enter. If you obtain the following result, it means that R is now able to recognize our tools. We have just set up our tools in order for R to recognize it. Now we proceed with setting R Studio. R Studio is an IDE for R. If you open R, you will see that it is not as friendly looking as compared to R Studio. In fact, R Studio has more functionality available at a glance to the user than bare R. Now focusing our attention to R Studio. Since appearance of an IDE is undeniably a factor that affects the performance of a beginner user in R, we will set up R Studio with the assumption in mind that you will be frequently using it on a regular basis. We will start setting up the color theme for R Studio. To choose your preferred theme, go to Tools, Global Options, and then Appearance. On the Editor Theme section, choose your preferred color theme. In my case, I will use tomorrow night. I've chosen this theme because it is less eye straining. Now, click apply, click yes, and that's it. We have now set up our studio in a tomorrow night dark theme. Now, for first-time users of RStudio, they might find the IDE crump up with paints, windows, tabs, and other GUI tools. This is more so for the case of users who are not familiar with programming IDEs. Thus, it is good for starters to set up the GUI elements of the IDE at minimum within the boundary that which is needed. To do this, 
go to tools global options paint layout you will see here quadrants specifically four quadrants each of these quadrants is actually associated to the four general panes of our IDE. So in this case, we have the source pane, the console pane, and the environment pane, and we have here the files pane. To see this, let's first close this one. So this is now our console pane and the environment pane and the files pane. We can actually drag this one or minimize or maximize or just adjust at the middle. So the source pane can't be seen by default as of this moment, but we can access it by clicking this one. So here's our source pane. Again, you can move this minimize maximize or the upper part you can maximize the source pane so let's just leave it at the middle so here's our source pane again console pane environment pane and the files pane now notice the tabs here what you check or uncheck on the quadrant checklist Will determine their presence or absence in the four general panes. So let's try to go back to the tools, global options, pane layout. So let's try experimenting. Say for example, I uncheck this hit environment option and now click apply and OK. As you can see, the environment tab here before was now removed. We can also interchange panes. Tools, Global Options, Pane Layout. For example, we interchange this upper right pane with the lower left pane. Click Console, and as you can see, their positions are being interchanged. So let's see what it will look like. Click Apply and hit OK. Now, we have now our history connections tutorial, which was supposedly on the upper right, but it is being interchanged with the console pane. So what setup do we need to use? In my case, let's go back to tools, global options, and pane layout. Now I will return it back to the default. check this environment again now for the upper right pane or quadrant I will only leave environment and build as the check one for the lower right I will leave it as it is meaning I will leave files plots packages help and viewer as being checked for the upper left with the lower left I will leave it as it is now click apply and hit OK so that's it we have just set up our studio to our bare minimum requirements since working with R requires basic coding it would be better to set up some miscellaneous settings that we will find quite helpful. To do this, go to Tools, Global Options, Code. Now, under the Editing tab, at the General section, check Auto Detect Code Indentation. On the Display tab, check Allow Scroll Past End of Documents. Also check highlight R function calls. And lastly, also check rainbow parentheses. On the completion tab, under the completion delay, set this to 2. 
Lastly, going back to the General tab, uncheck this Restore.rdata and set this one to Never. Click Apply, hit OK. And that's it. We're good to go to use R.